This is Dr. Bev Knox, and you are viewing my psychology tutorials, Learn Psychology While You Sleep. The series of video lectures is all about statistics and data analysis. So let us now discuss how to describe data using graphs and tables. Once you've conducted your descriptive statistical analysis, you will need to present them to others. So, let us focus on presenting descriptive statistical results in writing, in graphs, and in tables following the American Psychological Association guidelines or the APA guidelines for written research reports. These principles can be adapted easily to other presentation formats such as posters and slideshow presentations. When you have a small number of results to report, it is often most efficient to write them out. There are a few important ABA style guidelines here. First, Statistical results are always presented in a form of numerical numbers rather than words and are usually rounded to two decimal places, for example, 2.00, rather than spelling out TWO or the number 2. When you have a large number of results to report, you can often do it more clearly and efficiently with a graph. When you are preparing graphs for APA style research reports, there are some general guidelines that you should keep in mind first. The graph should always add importance important information rather than repeat information that already appears in the text or on the table. If a graph presents information more clearly or efficiently, then you should keep the graph and eliminate the text or table. Second, graphs should be as simple as possible. For example, the publication manual discourages the use of color unless it is absolutely necessary. Although color can still be an effective element in posters, slideshow presentations, or textbooks. Third, graphs should be able to be interpreted on their own. A reader should be able to understand the basic result only on the graph and its caption and should not have to refer to the text for an explanation. There are also several more technical guidelines for graphs that include the following. The layout. The graph should be slightly wider than it's tall. The independent variable should be plotted on the x-axis and the dependent variable on the y-axis. Values should increase from left to right on the x-axis and from the bottom top on the y-axis. Axis labels should be clear and concise and include the units of measurement if they do not appear in the caption. Axis labels should be parallel to the axis. Legends should appear within the boundaries of the graph. Text should be in the same simple font throughout and differ by no more than four points. Captions should briefly describe the figure, explain any abbreviations, and include the units of measurement if they do not appear in the axis labels. Captions in an APA manuscript should be typed on a separate page that appears at the end of the manuscript. Bar graphs are generally used to present and compare the mean scores for two or more groups or conditions. 
line graphs are used to present correlations between quantitative variables when the independent variable has or is organized into a relatively small number of distinct levels. Each point on a line graph represents the mean score on the dependent variable for participants at one level of the independent variable. Scatter plots are used to present relationships between quantitative variables when the variable on the x-axis, typically the independent variable, has a large number of levels. Each point in a scatter plot represents an individual rather than the mean for a group of individuals, and there are no lines connecting the points. Like graphs, tables can be used to represent a large number of information clearly and efficiently. The same general principles apply to tables as apply to graphs. They should add important information to the presentation of your results, be as simple as possible, and be interpretable on their own. So for a quick review, remember, in an APA style article, Simple results are most efficiently represented in the text. More complex results are most effectively presented in graphs or tables. APA style includes several rules for presenting numerical results in the text. These include words only for numbers less than 10 that do not represent precise statistical results and rounding results to two decimal places using words in the text and symbols in parentheses. APA style includes several rules for presenting results in graphs and tables. Graphs and tables should add information rather than repeated information, be as simple as possible, and be interpretable on their own with a descriptive caption for graphs or a descriptive title for tables.